Many people have been asking what the hell is that uh, yellow thing on the upper left corner on my videos that displays all the things about my PC and usually I reply something like oh it's MS Afterburner but saying that is MS Afterburner is too vague I mean uh, MS Afterburner is so much more than a, an overlay software it has so much more features and many people might get confused to know well how do I use this because uh, sometimes it's very complex and the default skin is uh, a little bit strange right now so I'm going to teach you how to put up an overlay for the games and as well as to work at, with the rest of the MSI software. So to start off we need to download the MS Afterburner. So we go to Google for example, we write something like MSI Afterburner, you can download it from the Guru3D forums or from the official website from MSI and I'm going to choose the Guru3D which is uh, where the main support comes from and it is actually a new beta version but I'm not using the beta right now you can see the oldest version there is the 3.0 but I will go and well you we have this beta and I will go for the latest stable okay you start download my internet connection is indeed very slow unfortunately and after it gets downloaded you can open it logically that is my download file, my download folder, and that is a zip, and we can open it right away because it's only one file. And if my PC was quick, this thing would work. Okay, so we can choose the language. We have a lot of languages to to choose from. I'm going to choose English because it's the mostly the standard language I accept the things and there is two options in here we have the burner and the river Turner statistics server as you can read river Turner statistics server is necessary for the overlay for recording and uh, many other stuff that you need so I feel recommend you to to install both of them okay so this is my personal opinion and this this will install right now And there you go, it's actually done, and so we're going to finish and open MS Afterburner. So, MS Afterburner is currently using this new skin. I personally don't, don't like too much because uh, it's not user-friendly in my opinion. It's very beautiful, so I'm going to the settings and to the user interface I'm going to change to the classic, well it's not classic, but for the ancient Vritis skin, which is much more better to me. I can see much better the graphics. Uh, that I want to monitor, I can actually have here all the options for the overclock, well I have two on the others but it's a little bit more confused to me because I, I grew up with this skin and we have profiles and a lot of stuff you can monitor, you can even have the information of the drivers that you are using, you can detach these to a separate uh, window, so you can do a lot of stuff and so you have a bottom of reset and the settings which is the most important thing in here there is a lot of options to choose from for, for example start with windows start minimizers i am the exclusive options and uh, many other stuff on this uh, menu related to the power saving and things like that you can personalize the fun speed uh, by software you can say that okay after uh, 60 degrees the fun will run at a certain speed but i will deactivate that and what you really want is the monitoring so we have here all the things that is getting monitoring all that have that tick it's the monitor this is the interval of update that you want to to choose it the lower the interval the more demanding it gets so for me uh, 1000 milliseconds is enough and this is as you can see this the things that is getting monetized so i don't want this this to monitorize all the cores I just, uh, or I mean at single cores, I wanted to, to monitorize all of the cores in one single graphic for now. So we have here a bunch of options, everything is correct right now, this is exactly what I am monitoring. Okay, and so let's start. If you want to, to the things to appear on the OST on screen display during the game, which is that menu that you saw, uh, you want to select uh, the thing that you want, you can go here and override the group 
and give it a pretty name, like I had, for example, AG7850. This is just the name, you don't need to, to give names to, to the groups, okay? It's not really necessary. And you always need to activate the show in OSD display. On screen display, I mean, you need to activate always showing on screen display if you want this to appear uh, on the game. This is necessary. So it's done, everything is worked by, it uh, opens River Thunder 36 server right away. Uh, you can, this one is useful, it's the, the odd key that you are using to hide and show the overlay because many times I don't want the overlay to be on my, on my way of the game or in front of my menus. So my key that I personally use it is Control H, that option that you're seeing here uh, makes, for example, imagine that you are recording or taking a screenshot. If you have this option enabled, uh, the overlay will appear on screenshots and videos. If you disable it, no, it will not appear. This one is the screenshot option. Uh, you can choose the quality, the hotkey. I'm going to set Control Alt S. You can choose the path. And this one is the video recorder, which is the thing that I use the most in MS Afterburner. Uh, you can use an hotkey. You can set the quality. I'm using IMD IMF, which is the internal codec of the graphic card. I'm using these settings uh, to record mostly MKV and I choose uh, full frame and I set a location for example usually I use this one uh, movies which is in Portuguese films you can actually choose uh, the speakers that you want to use in my case is Altifalantes, which is uh, speakers in Portuguese. You can set the push to talk. If you have the microphone selected, you can select uh, another microphone. You can make separate files. This one is related to the profiles, uh, which you can implement the profiles. For example, if you're running a, tr a 2D app, like we are running here, we are running just a desktop, you can make the MS Afterburner to force some clocks. And in the 3D, for example, let's imagine in the 3D that you're going to play the game, you can force the graphic card to auto overclock. Okay, many of these things is already available on the IMD drivers, but uh, anyway, it's always good to have here. Okay, but we have more options, so this is the Riva Thunder. This is, oh, okay, if you want to overlay to appear, this needs to be enabled. Okay. We have plenty of options here, you can set uh, frame rate limiters, you already have this option too on IMD, but I think this one works most better than the IMD Radiant Software frame rate limiter. You can choose the this thing, which I personally don't don't know what, the, what to, this does, but in a way it changes the visual of the overlay. I noticed that uh, some options uh, uh, make some frame drops and things like that and I don't understand why. This one here, frame buffer and view import, I think it's related to the coordinates where you want to, to put the overlay. As you can see, you can customize the position of the overlay. This one is the shadows of the text, you can put the shadows, I use shadows because it seems to look better. You can personalize the, the size of it. You have the statistics, which the Riverton statistics server will over override the statistics that you choose on MS Afterburner. You can actually have a lot of profiles, because let's imagine that you want to limit the frame rate uh, of uh, another game, like for example, let's search here for Counter-Strike Global Offensive on Steam. And as you can see, it's capped to 112 frames, but I can choose another value and it will only be applied to this game. You can do the same for the colors, you can choose a different color for some specific game and everything like this. This one is uh, some options related to updates and nothing special. And so, 
this is how the MS Afterburner is configured. So let's see the results after this configuration with Mirror's Edge Catalyst. So let's go! We are now in game and looking to the MS Afterburner on the upper left corner is everything configured as you wa we wanted but we forgot about the frame rate so we need to get back to the windows and MS Afterburner to, to add it again. So we finally have everything as we wanted, the information about the graphic card, the information about the VRAM, the information about frame rate, the information about the CPU and the information about RAM. This is how we configure the MS Afterburner, so the information that you want is up to you, the covers that you want is up to you, the overclock recording configuration is up to you, but this is all the possibilities that the MS Afterburner application offers you. So that's how I want to talk about MS Afterburner, hope you did enjoy it and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.